Now at 3.30, spectators are flocking to get one last look at the incredible Rose Parade floats before they're hauled off and taken apart. Float Fest in all of its flowery fabulousness is winding down soon. KTLA 5 Jennifer McGraw is in Sierra Madre with the story. The post parade ending here in Sierra Madre where 40 floats were on display for the world to see and every single tiny detail. I want to welcome everybody out to the 2024 Float Fest. Enjoy the sun. It is a beautiful day out here in Pasadena. While the Tournament of Roses has been running for 135 years for some and most, it's their first time here. You couldn't anticipate or have anything more exciting, you know, watching it years ago on TV. It, it, this is just totally, it's crazy. It's just, it's so beautiful. A win for Michigan fans and for many who've checked the parade off their bucket list. This is really incredible. I'm really excited that I get this opportunity. The depth and the colors and the textures, everything is just much more than it can possibly show on television. These young women are so extraordinary. That and imagine actually being in it. For these young ladies, it's a dream come true to be a part of the royal court and parade. It was insane. It felt like I was a movie star or something, and it was genuinely magical. And I have to say, it was a great way to start the new year. It takes hundreds of volunteers to put on the parade and millions of seeds, flowers, and every natural material in sight to build these beautiful floats. We got to see them when they were in the beginning phases, when they were literally just a bunch of nuts and bolts. So seeing them here with all the flowers on them is absolutely crazy, and it makes me so grateful for all the volunteers who put in their effort and time to build all these floats. Even the tiny tykes can appreciate the beauty. It's so fun to come here every year, and I just like it. There are 24 awards given, but the grand award, the sweepstakes winner went to the San Diego Zoo, and Newport even making history with its float, the longest to ever make it way down Colorado at 165 feet. Well, the post parade is wrapping up, and if you didn't get to see the floats this year, remember you always have next year. In Sierra Madre, Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News.